the bot battle begins. In the BattleBots arena, armor is shredded, sparks fly, and the robots are torn to pieces. Whoa, no, Scorpius has come off. When the smoke clears, the teams are left with the carnage that remains. Oh. Today, Team Axe Backwards gets split in two, and Team Scorpios loses their only weapon. Can their bots be repaired in time for the next fight, or will their championship dreams end here? This is BattleBots Resurrection. Led by Team Captain Kurt Durgin from Florida, Team Axe Backwards runs a huge barrel spinner unlike any other bot in the competition. Its large set of rubber wheels makes it fast and powerful, but also exposes it to some vulnerabilities. They came into the first match feeling confident, but took a hard hit from Warhawk that split the whole left wheel off, rendering the bot motionless. They quickly realize that they will not only have to repair the bot, but readjust the design if they want to have a chance at winning the championship title. I just watched a replay, and so I kind of understand exactly why the wheel broke off that it did. But when we landed on our wheel, we landed like perfectly at a 45, and it just broke the, uh, the pink motor mounts there on the front. We've taken all the electronics out of this box in the back that got crushed pretty bad. There's a little extra work that we don't usually do. I'm gonna take that outside. We'll hammer it up at the welding center over there. We have a spare one of these side plates for that side. So we'll put that back in. We'll get the drum aligned back on and we'll put a new set of motor mounts on and just swap out tires. Captain Orion Beach and the rest of his team created a hybrid saw and grapple bot called Scorpios, complete with an articulating arm to grab with and a solid steel blade to do some serious damage. Unfortunately, in their last match against Rotator, this dual-use weapon was ripped off their bot, leaving them without a way to fight back. With their next match in less than 24 hours, they'll need a miracle to get the mangled saw and shattered arm repaired in time. I don't know what was up with that weapon motor. It just, just no. didn't work. No, it's having trouble spinning up. Are you guys missing this? Oh, yes! Yeah. <laughs> oh, so we'll just you guys put this back on and we're good to go, right? Yeah, so yeah. Fred, yeah. He's okay, how well? Early on, the, we lost the saw motor. Uh, I'm assuming that our back brush housing support uh, shattered right away. Oh! Piece of Scorpius has come off! And so when we had a chance to go after uh, Rotator's tire, we just didn't have any power on the saw because the, the motor was just fighting itself, so I'm sure it's all beat up in there. Back at Team Axe Backwards, Kurt is working on manually tooling an improved piece for his broken gearbox, giving him total control, but also risking human error in the process. He's hoping that the new piece will be the right size for the wheel and will keep it from falling off again in their next battle. So we made this on the lathe. We got this uh, piece ordered in. We welded this on. We milled a key shaft in it. Now we're actually going to insert it in the gearbox, and then we will cut it off after we put the wheel on and use clamp collars to hold it. So this is... It's the final piece, uh, final step of the piece where it gets married to the... Oh, are you like eating grease back there? Ugh. Mmm, frosting. Hopefully it fits. Oh, it fits. Like if it fits, it chips. Magic. Oh, a little tight. So as long as this spins, I can drive it. And that's that. Spins, it wins. <laughs> Spin it to win it. The next morning, Team Scorpius makes the decision that their previous primary weapon is in fact irreparable, and in desperation, decide to replace it with an improvised solution from the hardware store. We keep breaking weapon motors and they keep not running right, so we just bought an angle grinder and we're just gonna stick it on the bot and see how it does. Uh, found this diamond blade that fits it pretty easy. Let's see how this fits. Go ahead and put that in. So. I'm not sure if we're gonna use this piece or not. I think we're gonna make something else, some kind of bent piece to come up and support the other side of the angle grinder. Oh yeah. Not the best, but uh, we'll get it working for the fight. Yep. Cheapest stuff in town, let's throw it in combat. Back at the test boxes, Kurt is piecing Axe backwards back together as they prepare for their final test before battle. But the wheels don't spin quite as planned. I got a sunburn from the welder, so I guess a weld burn. Got a bunch of lights in here. If I can hook them up, that would look really pretty. Let's see. Fire in a hole. Oh, yay, there we go. Lots of green lights. Okay. Cool. And if we move this, we should have some sort of movement. How did that get so different? Not thrilled. 
With only four hours left, Kurt discovers the problem is a broken speed controller, a crucial piece that controls the bot's movement. Having no replacements on hand, he turns to his fellow builders for help. We bought one from Will Bales over at uh, Team Hypershock. He was happy to sell us one, and it's a, it's a good thing, because there's not many of them out there left. As soon as they say BattleBots, everything gets kind of bought up. With Scorpios quickly running out of time before their next match against Hypershock, they have no choice but to make major sacrifices to their armor. Instead of welds, they're gonna have to use duct tape. Sure yeah, is. we didn't didn't have time for uh, proper weld nuts, so uh, we're taping our last season's uh, top armor on our robot. As commentators Chris and Kenny show up backstage to see the boss before the fight, Team Scorpios lays out the challenges they faced in repair. In our rotator fight, this arm, as you saw, got all mangled up. In the amount of time we had, this is the fix we could get. We uh, went down to the hardware store and bought a cheap, large angle grinder and, <laughs> and a diamond tile saw. How much of a percentage decrease in effectiveness is this thing? 25% <laughs> of original? 25% of the original firepower? Yeah. The whole arm we had to completely refabricate. Are you serious? Every part. Oh my god. What about, what about the, the drive system for the... We had to rebuild our motors. Really? Yeah, the full axle that our gears attached to had to be totally reconstructed. I mean, this is glorious. Best we could do. After performing a successful but timid test in the box, Scorpios heads inside for their battle. As the sun sets, Axe Backwards emerges for their final safety check only minutes before their next fight, hoping their new design keeps them in one piece. Yeah. Does it do anything? See how it tries to lift that? Isn't that cool? That's the moment we were talking about. All right, let's see the weapon. Oh, oh God. Okay. Yeah, that He's works. Alive. That's like 10%. Like that. That's way faster than we've ever had it with the new ratio. Is... Oh, it does the gyro, dude. Yeah. Oh, we get the gyro. I didn't even know we could do the dance. I want to do that again. No, no, you don't want to do that again. Uh... I'll lay it back down gently. Oh, my God. I can drop. Hold on, ready? Was... Ready, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, isn't it? It's got so much better motion than it did before. Woo! Spectacular. It was like the best test anybody could ever do. So not only was it like the culmination of five weeks of everything coming together, but we had to get our butts kicked to really inspire us to upgrade the whole thing and be able to do the gyro. And that's exactly what we had in mind when we built this robot. And then all of a sudden it works. Like the, for the first time ever, even before the competition, we'd never seen it do anything like that. So we were super happy and we were ready for competition. Uh, Hold on, ready? Balance. Ready, here we go. Yeah! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm ready for oh, war. With their newly found confidence, will Axe Backwards be able to step up in the battle box? And will Scorpios with an improvised weapon and duct tape armor be able to outdrive and outlast Team Hypershock? Or will this be their final chapter? Find out on BattleBots.